What's going on Broughtnet? This is WRKJ296. I'm making this video to show you guys how to get connected to the uh, Broughtnet GMRS repeater systems using the IAX RPT client on Windows. So first things first, you're going to want to go ahead and open up broughtnetgmrs.net, open up a browser, go to the website. If you haven't done so already, go ahead and register. Once you register, you will receive an email from the Broadnet letting you know that uh, they've approved your request to join the website. Um, and now you can go back to the website and sign on to my account or sign on, log in, uh, go to my account, then go down to where it says DV switch access. Since we're doing this for Windows, um, there's different ways to use basically DV switch. It's DV switch. Uh, people call it DV switch. People call it IAX RPT. Uh, DV switch would be more for like the Android device uh, devices, and then you have IAX RPT for Windows, which is what we'll be working on. I know there's a confusion sometimes. People say DV switch, and it's not clear on exactly what they mean. Um, so, just to explain it, IAX RPT is what's used on Windows. Then you have dv switch that you use on an android device whether that be a android cell phone or it could also be an, uh, an android uh, network radio uh, it also uses dv switch dv switch is just an apk so it's an application that you can download onto an android device or any device running android <laughs> okay so back on track iax rpt on windows you're going to want to go ahead and download it just click this right here it'll start downloading on the bottom Okay, so once it's done in, uh, downloading, you want to go ahead and install it. Once it's installed, you can just close out the app. Um, you're going to want to ask or request access to use um, the DV switch, or in this case, the IAX RPT client. So go back to the Broadnet website, and on the banner, the orange banner that you see there, go ahead and click that. That'll automatically send the Broadnet an email uh, letting them know that you're requesting access um, to basically go into their hub. So now just wait about 72 hours. It usually takes about 72 hours before um, they actually accept your request. Once you receive the email from the Broadnet, hold on, let me pull it up here so you can see what I'm talking about. Once you receive the email from the Broadnet, it'll contain this information here. Um, obviously, I crossed out my password because I don't want to <laughs> just to avoid any confusion. Um, but what you're going to do is you're going to input all of this information into the IAX client. So go ahead and open that. Once you have that open, as you can see here, this is a blank slate. So this is what yours will look like as well when you first open it. Uh, you're going to want to go up here to options, go to accounts, hit add. And then under account name, just put 1423. That'll be the uh, the hub that we'll be connecting to. Description, um, you can pretty much put whatever you want, but I'm just going to put um, Broadnet G GMRS repeater systems. Can't type. So you see where it says host name, you have ROIP. Now make sure everything here is spelled correctly because any little, if you make one mistake, it's not going to work. It has to be exactly the way they send it to you. So under username, you're going to put your call sign. Just use whatever they give you as far as username on the email. More than likely, it'll be your call sign. And then the password. Obviously, these are my passwords, so I'm not going to show you what it is. Um, so under type here, you're going to hit duplex. And then everything else pretty much you're going to leave as is. You're just going to go ahead and hit save. And then you're going to hit done. Once you hit done, you're going to go ahead and connect. Node 1, 4, 2, 3, connected. Okay, so you're now connected to the network. You can go ahead and open up the Broadnet status page so you can see for yourself. Once you pull that up, um, you're going to see under... Under 1423, you should see that it says, in my case, WRKJ296. Uh, when you're connected, it'll show your call sign. It'll see, you can see everything on there um, as far as how long you've been connected. We've been connected for 51 seconds. Um, and then when you transmit, you're basically going to go back to the IAX right here. In order to transmit, you're going to click on transmit. When you click on transmit, the transmit will actually turn red. When it turns red, it indicates that you are actively modulating over the Broadnet hub. 
Um, so make sure that when you're done talking that you press transmit again so that it's no longer red. If you leave it red, then you basically have an open mic. Another thing to mention, control is what you use on the keyboard um, to basically transmit to the broadnet. If you wanted to use a uh, if you want to use control, you can also just hit, use the mouse and hit transmit, talking to the mic, and then hit transmit again when you're done talking. So we're gonna go ahead and try that. WRKJ two nine six on the DV switch. So if you look over at the status page, you'll see that you've transmitted. It turns red on the status page, letting you know or indicating that there's an active uh, person talking on there. So as you can see, we're connected. These are all the hubs. Everything is connected to the network. Just keep in mind um, when you do click when you do click transmit, um, the transmit button turns red. When it's red, it indicates that you are actively modulating over the hub. Um, once you're done talking, just make sure that that transmit is no longer red. If you leave it red, then you have an open mic. If you hit control on your keyboard, um, it acts as the PTT button. So just in, with the same instance, uh, remember if it says transmit, if it turns red, you're actively talking. So make sure when you let go of control or just make sure that you don't have to press control again to make sure it's not red. Last thing you want is to have an open mic. So once you're done with IIX, in order to hang up or disconnect from the broadnet, you're gonna wanna highlight, or you're just gonna wanna make sure that it's selected here. Go ahead and disconnect. And if you look at the status page, you can see that your name is no longer under the 1423 um, hub. All right, I hope this video helps and explains um, how to connect to the broadnet GMRS repeater systems using the IIX client on Windows. If you guys have any questions, leave them down below, uh, regardless of what platform this is going to be posted on. Um, and if you have any issues that you run into that it doesn't necessarily line up with this video, just, you know, go ahead and um, call out if you are able to connect via Zello or if you're able to connect to the broadnet via RF. Um, or just if you haven't done so already and you're on Facebook, you can go ahead and visit us at uh, broadnet GMRS repeater systems, or actually it's under broadnet gmrs at, uh, on facebook you can go out on there send the request answer the questions and uh, i'll be posting videos on there in fact this tutorial will probably be posted on there um, and there's some other ones that i've posted and i will i do plan on doing live streams for the nets on thursday nights at 8 p.m so make sure you guys tune in um, the live streams will go up on facebook it'll either be facebook or youtube but they'll be on the facebook page so if you haven't done so already go ahead and join the group all right, guys, before I make this video longer than it should be, this is WRKJ296. I hope to catch you guys on the broadnet. 73s.